Welcome to Now Leo Know, where curiosity roars loud. Hey there, trivia lovers. Ever heard of fish that can literally change their gender? Yup, in the wild, some fish wake up one day and go, you know what? I think I'll switch things up. And we're not talking sci-fi. This is pure biology. Today, we're diving deep into one of nature's weirdest, most mind-blowing abilities, gender-switching fish. Get ready to have your brain blown and your curiosity fed. In biology, it's called sequential hermaphroditism, which means an organism starts life as one sex and later transitions to another. It's not a malfunction or mutation, it's a fully natural evolutionary trait. There are two main types, protandry, male to female, and protogeny, female to male. And yes, some species can switch more than once. Let's start with one you probably know, clownfish. Like the ones from Finding Nemo, all clownfish are born male. In a group, there's one dominant female and one mating male. If the female dies, the mating male becomes the female, and the next male in line moves up. So technically, if Finding Nemo were scientifically accurate, Marlin would have turned into Nemo's mom. Then there's the Rasa, a colorful reef fish that starts life as a female. When the dominant male dies, the largest female transforms into a male. Hormones shift, physical appearance changes, even behavior transforms, all in just a few days. Same goes for parrotfish, which can change gender multiple times during their life. They're like the shapeshifters of the sea. So how exactly do fish change sex? It's all thanks to hormones and environmental cues. When the social structure changes, like a dominant male dying, it triggers a hormonal cascade in the biggest or most dominant female. Her ovaries shut down, testes activate, and bam, new male in town. Researchers have even found genes that regulate this switch, showing that evolution hardwired this backup system into these species. Why bother changing sex at all? Simple to survive and reproduce. In small populations or isolated reef areas, it's not guaranteed there will be enough of both sexes. So being flexible helps keep the species going strong. If a male is needed and there isn't one, a female steps up. It's nature's way of saying, adapt or die. It's not just clownfish and wrasses. Other fish that change gender include grouper, sea bass, goby fish, hawkfish. Some of these transitions are permanent, while others can flip back and forth depending on the environment. Some gobies can switch in just a few days. Believe it or not, scientists are looking at gender-changing fish to better understand hormonal transitions in humans. Studying how these fish flip the biological switch offers insight into endocrine systems, gene expression, and even transgender medicine. So next time you're watching Finding Nemo or Swimming at the Reef, just remember, beneath the waves, life is more flexible, wild, and weird than we ever imagined. Hit that like button if you learned something new and drop a comment below. Would you change gender if it helped your species survive? Don't forget to subscribe for more shocking nature trivia. Until next time, stay curious.